We need to know how to find surface area of prisms, but before we do that, we need to make sure that we know what a prism is. A prism is a three-dimensional shape. It's a solid object that has flat faces and similar ends or bases. So solid object, flat faces, similar bases. One description that I like is if you think about drawing a two-dimensional shape on a piece of paper and envision, envision how that would look if it extended up off the paper into a three-dimensional shape, that is a prism. I'll put this link in uh, Schoology so that you can play with it, but this is kind of a fun place where you can look at all the different angles of a prism. You can... Um, spin it around and you can even disassemble it so that you can see what all the parts look like. Here's a net and if we need to find the surface area of this net we want to know how much space does the outside of this object take up. So we have to find the area of each individual shape. And if I notice that these are all squares and I can see that the dimensions are nine inches by nine inches. So I know that the area of each one of these pieces is 81 square inches. And since we have six sides, I can multiply 81 times six and get 486. And of course, we're talking about inches. We're talking about square inches. As usual, there's more than one way to solve problems like this. The way that we just discussed is drawing a net and then finding the area of each different shape. Another way is to use a formula. And the formula of surface area is we have to find the length and the width and the height. So we would multiply 2 times the length times the width and add that to 2 times the width times the height and add that to 2 times the length times the height. And if we do all of those things, then we're taking care of each and every um, part of the net. So here's an example of a triangular prism. So in this case, we're not only finding the area for rectangles, we're also having to find the area for triangles. So in that case, we need to think back and remember the area for the um, the formula for the area of triangles is one half times base times height. So we would find those accordingly. These are each 54. And then we could go on to find the area of all the other pieces and add them together. So let's do number three together. In this example, I'm going to use the formula to figure out how uh, the surface area of this shape. Okay, so my length is eight centimeters, my width is five centimeters, and my height is six centimeters. I'm just gonna follow this formula right here and I'm gonna write a, um, an equation of, of the surface area of this shape. So I need two times my length times my width, so eight times five. And you can figure out why we would need two because there are actually two of those same pieces that we're trying to find the area for which is this piece right here, eight times five. And then I'm gonna add that to two times the length times the height. So the length is eight and the height is six. And then I'm gonna add that to two times the width times the height. And now I'm finding this space right here and this one right here, hence the two times. So I've got six times five. The order of operations says that I do all the work inside the parentheses first. Then I can complete the multiplication that I have left. And finally, I can add all my numbers together. My answer is 236 centimeters squared. All right, let's give this triangular prism a try. So when we find the surface area of this triangular prism, we have one, two, this back side three, four, and then this front sloped side, five sides to find the area for. And then we're going to add those together to um, find the surface area. So I'll start with the triangular sides. I know that the formula is one half times base times height. So I'm gonna take the base, which is three, 
and the height, which is four, and I'm gonna multiply that by one half. So I've got um, three times four is 12, and half of 12 is six, okay? I have two of those sides. So, so far on my list, I've got six and a six. Let's take a look at this sloped side right here. This is just a rectangle, so I can take length times width. I've got 30. Let me look at this back side right here. I've got four times six is 24. And then this bottom piece right here, I've got a measurement of three. And then again, my six is gonna travel down to here. Three times six is 18. I need to make sure I have five numbers. I'm gonna add them all up. So when I add up those five sides, we've got 84 square yards. Okay, last example. Uh, we've got this rectangular prism and you can see that if I think about this like a net, I could solve this problem that way. I'm just gonna look at the problem and, and decide how many of each side that I need. So this front side, I'm gonna find the area by multiplying the length times the width. So 15 times 10. So this front side is 150. And there's one more of those back here, right? That's exactly the same, okay? So now let me erase this. I wanna do this side right here. So I'm gonna look at the measurements, 15 times five. 15 times five is 75, and I know there's another equal side right here. So that's another 75. Finally, I can get the base, which is right here. 10 times five is 50, and there's another one of those right here. When I add up all these sides, I get 550 square centimeters. If you feel like you need more practice with this, I will put another video in Schoology. You can watch that. Um, if you feel like you're ready to move on, your assignment is on pages 717 and 718. I'd like you to work on numbers 1 through 8. All right, your turn to practice this. Let's start with these three problems on page 717. When you're done with these three problems, check in with me or um, check the posted answers to make sure that you're on the right track. And then you can finish these problems one through eight when you're done with that.